Hi there, I'm Kelly Tillman with a Golf Central update. President Obama spent his President's Day weekend at the Floridian in Palm City, Florida, with a couple of golf's heaviest hitters. On Saturday, he received lessons from Butch and Claude Harmon. On Sunday morning, he teed it up with Tiger Woods for the very first time. And according to our insider Tim Rosafort, they played 18 holes in the morning and the president went back out for an emergency nine. Once again, we welcome Tim to the show, joining us from South Florida, where he spent the last two days at the Floridian. Tim, you broke this story for us on Golf Channel. What happened this morning? Well, it was a in a historic moment, Kelly, obviously, uh, when the president of the United States walks up on a driving range and to greet Tiger Woods at the Floridian Golf Club and make the comment about how happy he was to see him winning the Farmers Insurance Open a couple of weeks ago and the fun he had enjoying that moment. And then to see them drive off to the first tee, the president behind the wheel and Tiger in, in the passenger seat to play their first round of golf together. And by all accounts, they had a blast. Uh, Tiger put on quite a show, both with his shot making, bunkered on the first hole, greenside, holes that for a birdie, nearly drove the 378 yard 14th hole. They were all playing from the same tees, Kelly, which was nice about it. It was the president and Tiger against the club owner, Jim Crane, and Ron Kirk, the ambassador, former mayor of Dallas. And they went around in over just under, just over four hours. So speed, pace of play was not an issue. And Tiger uh, got in his car, went back home. And the president went out, as you said, for nine more holes of golf. It's cold out here today, Kelly. The president obviously loves this game to be out in these conditions playing that many holes. Yeah, temperatures near freezing in the morning around the state of Florida. Tim, I'm not sure what the access was like, but did either man have anything to say to you or anyone else that was there after the round? Both declined comment. Uh, Tiger went straight to his car, as I said, and he's going to talk about it on Tuesday at, at the Accenture match play. Had a brief moment to, to talk to the president about his round, but he, too, declined comment as well, but he was obviously very happy after the day and talking to Jim Crane, the owner, uh, the day that the president spent with Tiger, and then also the improvement he saw in his game after getting a chance to work with Butch and Claude Harmon III. Okay, you mentioned the lesson he was able to get. What did he learn from the Harmons? Well, it was mostly uh, alignment and posture. Uh, he had his right shoulder as a lefty golfer, way right of the target as a result of that. He really wasn't turning behind the ball. I was told he made several pars today. He seemed very happy, as I said. And we talked to Claude earlier about their moment in, in the lesson bay last night. It was interesting to hear what he said. Well, I think the, the thing I took away from it is the president of the United States is pretty much just like most people that play our sport. He doesn't get a chance to, to practice a lot. So when he does get a chance to play, he doesn't really get a chance to warm up. He never gets the chance to, to, to hit golf balls because of his schedule. So like most of the people that we give golf lessons to, he doesn't have nearly the time to, to, to practice. So we made some changes in his alignment. His shoulders being left-handed were pretty wide open, aiming pretty good ways to the right. And he just doesn't really get through the golf ball as well as he should so we made some changes we got him in our swing studio put him on video and and kind of showed him that if he squared his shoulders up and could got to get his body working a little bit better he actually started to hit the golf ball a little bit more solid and then we went into the bunker he said that he's a terrible bunker player but we showed him again some basic setup things got his weight a little bit more forward he was trying to back up to get it into the air and it was kind of cool that even though he's the president of the united states you know he was excited and and felt like he had some things to work on so um, you know, an amazing experience for me to, to have that opportunity and to get to share that with my father who, you know, we're both in the same business and, and we both kind of do the same thing, but to get to share that with my dad and, and just to be a part of the, the whole weekend was, was just an amazing experience for me. I have to echo what, what Claude said. It was a unique and obviously historic experience to be here, to see those two men drive off and play their first round of golf and, and both of them left happy, Kelly, because they both got a W out of it. And you know how important W's are for the president and for Tiger Woods. Yeah, and he's a left-handed golfer, plays the game lefty style. I guess it shouldn't be surprising to know that he's been struggling to get that weight to the right. But the good news is he's trying to learn it. He's trying to get over to the right. <laughs> uh, Tim, thank you much. Uh, tongue firmly planted thank in you. cheek, of course. Tim Rosenfort reporting for us from the Floridian. Thank you.